Good evening. From CBS News, this is Newsbreak. The Reagan administration wants to increase the U.S. commitment to El Salvador, not only in the form of dollars, but American military men as well. President Reagan is asking for a $60 million increase in weapons aid, and a senior White House official says the president also wants to increase U.S. military advisors from the current number, 37. More rain is expected to hit the Pacific coast tonight after a weekend of storms left five people dead from weather-related accidents in California. Several highways were closed and power was knocked out in cities up and down the coast. The United Steelworkers Union and steelmakers reached a tentative agreement, a three-year pact, that would cut worker wages, but the manufacturers would help laid-off workers and fix old plants. I'm Connie Chung, CBS News, Los Angeles. More news at 11 on this CBS station and on CBS News Nightwatch. This is NBC News Digest, sponsored by Sealy Posturepedic. Here is Jessica Savage, NBC News. Good evening. More violence in the fifth day of the independent trucker strike with Pennsylvania most affected. Extra state police have been assigned to protect the highways there, and the National Guard has been put on active alert. The governor did not say if he would actually call out the guard. President Reagan condemned the violence and said there would be no backing down from the taxes that prompted the strike. Unemployment declined last month. Under the old method, it fell to 10.4 percent. The new system includes members of the military as employed, and it put the new rate at 10.2 percent. I'm Jessica Savage in New York. More news later on this NBC station and on NBC News overnight.